Oh my god, Noob Noob, I have the most stupendous, amazing, enormous, greatest news ever about GTA. You won't believe your eyes. Is it GTA 6? No. All right, folks, it's not what you think it is. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, it looks like, you know, we wanted the announcement of GTA 6 because, you know, they have a PS5 where they could They do. Possibly could look put so delicious. It. But instead, it looks like they're going to what all the studios seem to be doing, remastering old stuff because it's easier. It really is. And I, I mean, guess with Blizzard being time's up, too, like, they're probably scared to do anything anymore. They right got now. me freed. Yeah. Yeah. So, Rockstar. A GTA Remastered Trilogy. I, I mean, if they do a full-on, like, GTA 5 version remaster, if they put a GTA 5 skin on all these three games, I am so in. I mean, I'm in, yeah. If they do that, if they do it to a PS5, it might be a reason to buy a PS5 in the Xbox consoles, yeah. So after months and rumors of speculation, and this is the news is being broken on Kotaku. Uh, we've heard other news sources report the same thing, but they all reference this article, and that's why we wanted to bring you this Kotaku article, even though I don't necessarily believe anything Kotaku says. Fake news, fake news. Anyway, uh, Rockstar may be. Re that's of course. Look, that they may be remastering three classic Grand Theft Auto games. I don't know how they how they make them all fit together. Like, are they gonna fit the three cities together? Like, I guess if you put those no, three cities together, they they would they would equal GTA Online. What do yeah? you mean? It's not gonna be one giant game. It's gonna be three games in one disc. So who's gonna play them separately as GTA Online? Because they're they're saying it might update to GTA Online. Oh, that seems weird. I don't know how that's gonna work. That seems made up and fake. Really? I don't know. It might be a good way to satisfy everybody until GTA 6 comes out and a way to make more money on a game that's kind of like, it's still very popular, but it's definitely waiting. But also, if Rockstar's putting time into this, They're just not don't really do this. really putting any time put, into it. Put time into GTA 6. Yeah, but it's so much easier. Just they, There's literally already people who, who've done this where you can use the Unreal uh, Engine and remaster this stuff. So... Yeah, they're using the Unreal Engine, and it will be a mix of new and old graphics, whatever that means. That what? Well, they, they, people said there's already heavily modded versions of classic GTA, so they think it's going to look something like that. It better look as good as GTA Online, which is like, looks dated now, so... It's, it's like a seven or eight-year-old game. When did GTA 5 come out? It's a ten-year-old game. Did it really come out ten I'm years ago? I'm pretty sure it's ten years old. Sweet Christmas. Yeah. And they're still making money from it. Those pricks. No and wonder why GTA 6 doesn't come out. Of course, because they're still making like billions of dollars off of it through those shark cards where people buy cards to buy stuff in the game. Yeah, and they have what, uh, was it the Tokyo Drift or Los Santos Tuners? Uh... Yeah, you need like five million in-house dollars, which I think equals like two, I don't know, equals like, I don't know, maybe it's a hundred bucks in shark cards. I don't know how much shark cards bucks? Play. It's like real money. Yeah, it's too much real money. For what? To have the expansion? Just to get the things to to get the tuner cars where you can like get in and actually tune up cars. Oh, you have to have unlock that. Yeah, you have to pay for it for with in game. That's the trick. So GTA Online is free, but what they do is they add expansions and add like different vehicles and things like that. And people are lazy and don't actually want to grind the money. You know, I think I have like six hundred and eighty million dollars in that game. Dear Lord. So I can buy anything I want, but other so, people have to like grind the money. Can you, know? you do the tuner thing? Oh, I already paid for it, yeah. Did you really? Oh, yeah, easy. Let's tune shit up. I mean, why? You want to see me tune stuff up? I want to see a Fast and Furious car. Well, I can do some... I think I can. Yeah, I can do some Fast and Furious cars. Anyway, if you want to see that, put it in the comments below. Tell us that you want to see Noob Noob and Z tune up some cars. I haven't done a GTA video in like over a year. I want to get tuned up in Z's engine. Absolutely. Oh my god. Uh, it looks like the, the way the source came out is that the Rockstar Dundee in Scotland and one of the newest studios, the company is in charge of, of developing remastered games. It's something tons of other, like, what is it, Konami, or who who did the uh, Resident Evil going through? Resident Evil remasters a game every two years. Yeah, so they're all they're all going through Spyro it remastered, Crash Bandicoot remastered. <laughs> it's like a thing. Uh, Ratchet & Clank will be remastered again. Like, every game that had, like, a, like a trilogy or a sequel, it's going to be remastered. Yeah. Although I don't the, blame them. Yeah. Jack & Daxter remastered, where you at? 
What about uh, Where you at bro I thought that the Spyro one was amazing Spyro was de- Well the first Spyro Is easily the best But What the remaster Yeah Like yeah. Spyro one is easily The best out of that trilogy Yeah sure. Just like Crash Bandicoot Easily the best one Is the first one they are saying here that they're thinking it's going to be packaged together with the online ports as a thank you gift from Rockstar, but nobody really knows exactly what's going to go on because apparently they want to port it to the Switch as well. That sounds horrible. I don't know if the graphics are going to do any of that. Like, And they're saying, everyone's saying that there's been much less like Red Dead Online. I totally forgot Red Dead was a thing. Uh, yeah, they just added a new uh, thing to it, which is actually Snaggle pretty cool. Beasts? They did not add... Damn it. They've never added zombies to it. Like, can you believe that? Well, they did uh, in the first one. Yeah, but they haven't done it to the second one. I think they're waiting till like the thing starts to grind to a halt where people stop playing it and they're going to be like, guess what? We added zombies. Maybe they're werewolves this time. Werewolves. Or vampires. No, people like zombies because they're like slow. I'm stupid. Red dead vampires. No, not going to happen. That so anyway, be. that's a bit of what we have here today. And if you want to catch our full length audio podcast, please subscribe to us on all the places you can find podcasts is like iTunes, podcasts, uh, Stitcher, iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, Google Play, all those fun places. We're also on the Instas at ORK underscore you. And you can also like and subscribe here. We greatly appreciate it. Make sure you share the videos so that you can keep up to date with all the fascinating things that Noob Noob and I are up to. Why don't you tune up that like button like I tune up my girlfriend if she gets out of line. Smack, smack. <laughs> anyway. Uh, Just kidding. Smack some love with my penis. That, mm, <laughs> no one even knows what you're talking about. Anyway, uh, that's all from us here at Our Reviews Will Kill You. And we'll catch you on the next one. So uh, we're already on to the next one.